y'all welcome back to my channel or big welcome if this is your first time here my name is kim and in today's video we're going to be doing pretty much a little bit of everything we've got some daily tidying to do we've got laundry to do we've got some bathroom cleaning to do so lots of cleaning if you are needing some cleaning motivation to get whatever you need to get done in your home you are in the right spot just keep on watching don't want this night to end yeah about time we stop pretending Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a complete overview of everything that we're gonna be working on today. So if this is your first time here, let me go ahead and quickly introduce myself. Like I said, my name is Kim and I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have three little ones. Emma is 12, Ella is two, almost three, and Mason is eight months old. So I have a lot of little ones I actually homeschool Emma. So my hands are pretty full around here and my house gets pretty messy this is actually a toned down video if you've been here before y'all already know <laughs> it gets crazy around here but i do what i can when i can and i try to give myself grace for the rest of it and that is the mantra that is what we stand on here and so i highly highly encourage you to do the exact same thing but when i can get stuff done i pick up my phone and i film it and hopefully it will give you some motivation, inspiration, and encouragement to get whatever you need to get done in your home. That is the whole goal. <laughs> so if you like those types of videos, if your house looks like mine, if you just need some real raw cleaning motivation, I am your girl. I'm here for you every single week. Just go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell. It's completely free. It's just going to let you know every time that I upload a video. So just to give you a little rundown of the schedule of today's video, we're going to be doing the living room, the kitchen, um, going to do some laundry, and then heading upstairs and getting the upstairs bathroom or the kids bathroom and um, all cleaned up, which it really was in desperate need. And then we're going to head over to Emma's bedroom. So y'all get a little sneaky peek at that. Y'all haven't seen that room yet since we just, since we moved in. Um, we're going to be in there just sweeping and mopping and I give her a nightstand, a good little wipe down. She's 12. She's pretty good at keeping up with her stuff. If y'all have like preteens, do y'all really, really hold them accountable? How, how do they do? Do they keep their rooms clean? Do they keep them messy? Um, when we were in the apartment and she shared a room with her two-year-old sister, it did not stay clean. I think they just kind of fed off of each other's energy that way <laughs> and just kept it a mess. But ever since that we've been here, I think she's just so grateful to have her own room again um, that she is keeping it in pretty good condition. I'm pretty proud of her for that. Um, but either way, I do need to get in there maybe once a month, maybe every two weeks, probably more like once a month and just give stuff a wipe down or a good sweep and a good scrub down. You know what I mean? And I'm back to lighting my candles, y'all. I got this one from Walmart. It is a great value coconut one and it's not by the candles in the store. It's by like, it's on the cleaning aisle. Um, and they have different ones. They have lavender, like eucalyptus, like essential oil smells. And then they have this coconut one and it smells so good. And it makes my whole house smell good. I'm going to try to find the link for it and I'll link it in the description box. It's like five or $6. So even if your Walmart doesn't carry it, they might be able to ship it to you because 10, 10 recommend that candle. It smells so good. I know y'all are probably tired of hearing me talk about the counters. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep talking about them until we can change them. And side note, if you can hear my children, specifically my toddler, normally I do my voiceovers when they're napping, but with the 4th of July weekend and just the way my schedule has been set up, I am doing this voiceover the night before it goes out and every single one of my family members is awake and lively 
just on the other side of the wall. So <laughs> I do apologize for that, but you'll probably hear some stuff. Um, but anyway, the countertops, I am going to go with the contact paper. And one of you said that my backsplash really isn't bad. They think that I really don't like it because it kind of matches. And I agree with that. I don't hate the backsplash, but I don't like that it's all like the same thing. Um, so I think I'm going to try contact paper and I think I want to go with a dark gray. Y'all let me know what you think about a dark gray. I might get like a couple little like close color samples that I can find online that I would like. And then maybe do like a poll on the community tab page right here. Um, if you don't know where that's at, just click on my face and then at the very top, it'll say like videos, playlists, blah, 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 blah. One of those tabs says community, click on that one. And that's where I like kind of communicate with you guys, just letting you know when a video is about to come out or just updates or, you know, stuff like that. I'm trying to get, be better at posting them more often. Um, but yes, let's, we're going to put a vote to that. Y'all let me know what you think. I would like to do just the counters, um, both of the... Don't y'all just love when you're washing your very last dish and someone sticks another dish in the sink? Anyone else just love that?
So we're about to move on to just wiping the countertop down really quickly. And I want to mention to you guys, just to give you a little sneak peek, I have a TikTok cleaning hack that has to do with grout that I'm going to be trying out for the first time. I have the bottle of the cleaning solution and it's killing me because I want to try it so bad because I've seen all the TikToks on it. Um, and it was actually one of you that suggested it to me in the comments. And to be honest, you guys, I don't really watch TikToks that much. Um, so I went to go like research the product and that's the first thing that popped up was like TikTok hack, TikTok hack. And so of course I had to get on there and I had to watch and according to TikTok, this is awesome, but I have seen a few TikTok fails. So we'll see what happens, but I'm super excited that that's going to be in next week's video. Drop your guesses down below on what you think the product is. This is day two of cleaning in today's video. We're gonna start out by making up the bed in here. That's all we're really gonna do in here, straighten up a little bit like on the side of the bed. Um, I did plan on getting my magic eraser and cleaning up some drawing that you really can't see that well on camera, um, but it is on the like behind our pillows. So if y'all look really well, I'm sure you can see it. So right behind our pillows, I thought Ella got up there and drew on the walls with a pen. So my plan was, was to get it cleaned up on this video finally, because I feel like it's been up there for probably longer than a week. Um, and I had everything set up, went and grabbed the magic eraser, turned the hammer on, and it would not come up with the magic eraser. And that's when I looked down in the crack and saw it was a Sharpie pen that she drew on the walls. So there's that. Um, but as you can see if you pay attention to my walls i'm sure y'all have noticed it in some videos this is a really good shot so you can see that it looks like we just touched up the paint right well right before we moved in they had like a two-day span between the time that we were moving in and the other people were moving out um because we were staying at the extended stay motel and all that and they were like trying to get us in here as quickly as possible so she went to lowe's and grabbed what she thought was the correct paint they did the entire house and she realized that she got the right color but she got glossy and so now it looks pretty bad and like she was not pleased with it at all she was like i'm so so sorry she was like this is why i like to have a couple weeks before my new tenants move in and all this and like i completely get it and so i don't i honestly it wasn't bothering me too much because we had a lot going on when we first moved in um but now that i'm here and i'm starting to kind of like get back in the groove and get my life together in this new home, um, it's starting to bother me. <laughs> but she told me that whenever I was ready to just let her know, no cost to me, she would go get the paint. She was like, I'll even come over and help you. Like she feels really bad about it, but little stuff like that doesn't bother me too much. It definitely doesn't bother my husband at all. Like he probably doesn't even notice it anymore. <laughs> um, but I think that we'll probably definitely get the paint and I won't make her come help me do it. I think we'll just do it ourselves. She didn't even touch up the paint in the baby's room, um, the two littles room. She said that by that point, she was just so mad. So she just didn't do it. So I don't blame her. We'll get the right paint. We'll go up there and we'll do a few touch-ups in that room. Um, but all the rest of the rooms are, are done with this paint. So you can tell that. And I meant to point that out in the past couple videos, but I keep forgetting. So the whole point of that story was to point that out and to say that once we get the paint, I'll be able to paint over the Sharpie pen fingers crossed that that'll do the trick.
I don't really need a new friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play though, wanna hang with me. I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of. Okay, the next stop is gonna be upstairs into the kids' bathroom. Emma is in charge of her own laundry. She let this pile get this big, and so I made her come up here and pick it up and carry it. This is the type of mom that I am, you guys. But of course, when she got to the top of the stairs, she made sad eyes at her daddy, and her daddy helped her bring it down the stairs, but promised to make her carry it to the laundry room from there. <laughs> So she got it down there. She's a strong girl. She's a dancer. She just doesn't like she doesn't like to do manual labor. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> she's normally pretty good about her laundry. I don't know. She slacks off sometimes. She's 12. I mean, I slack off sometimes and I'm 30. It is what it is. You know, we all slack off sometimes. So I try not to be too hard on her, but at the same time, try to let her know that it is an important thing that we do need to get done and um, try to set an example for her. So all we can do is our best, right? But I am heading into this bathroom with some Clorox wipes in hand. Um, I did it kind of backwards. Normally, I would do the mirror first and then the counter. I don't know. I think I was just anxious to get this counter disinfected, I guess. <laughs> so I quickly wiped down this counter and the sink, all of those things with the Clorox wipes. And then I'm going to go on to the mirror with my Mr. Sigma glass cleaning cloths. You know, I rave about them all the time. They're amazing, water only, and they clean mirrors and glass perfectly. So the, all of this really is Emma's space, and I do try to respect that. She has her own groove, her own style, her own thing. And I remember when I was her age, I loved to decorate my bedroom, my bathroom, all of those things. And so um, I love that she's able to express herself and do that too. So when I do come in and give it a good clean, I try to put everything back where she had it because I know that she's very particular about that type of thing. So just know that when I came in here, I just put everything. I might move like one thing, like a little to the left or a little to the right. Right? But trust me, if she doesn't like it, she will move it right back. <laughs> I was worried you blow my reputation. But I figured it's not on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way you make it, make sure you're handsome or still like you're pulling the trigger. All right, this very finger for people like them. Oh, no, no. When I lay on my mind, I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now. I'm like a golden crown. Have y'all been able to find like a particular hanging toy, bath toy, basket type of thing for your showers and your tub? Um, I would love to be able to find something that suctions really, really well, like so well that my eight month old would not be able to tear it down. And y'all, he's strong. So if, if it's like really easy to get down or just a little tug to get down, he's going to be able to get it down. Um, so if y'all have any recommendations for that, definitely let me know. And I'm heading into the tub as always with straight Dawn. Sometimes I use, oh, actually I did. I sprayed my Dawn solution on there first. And then now I'm going in with just a sponge and some Dawn. And this is the best thing to get soap scum and all the yuck out of your tub. It cleans it so well. It leaves no residue, super shiny. Um, and I mean, we eat off of the plates that we clean this stuff with. So I don't feel too bad using this on the kids' bathroom. Like a borderline, our fortress in the jungle, baby. We're 
This is Emma's room and she wanted me to let you guys know that she did this all by herself. 100% she did. She rearranged furniture herself. She put up all the decorations. She, I did not do anything in here in this room. She did all of this herself. So round of applause for Emma. She is such a great girl when, she, when it comes to stuff like this. She loves, loves, loves anything interior design. Um, that is like her jam. She loves that. So above all, she's super excited to finally have her own bedroom. Um, but sadly, in the move, we lost all of her bed frame screws and like parts and like, you know, all the stuff that comes off the bed when you take it apart. <laughs> we had a Ziploc bag full of it and all of the parts and they're just gone. We cannot find them anywhere. Um, so we still, honestly, we still have a few more boxes that we need to go through. And if they're not in there, my husband's just going to have to try to figure out maybe the measurements or what screws it took and then maybe try to go to Lowe's and find the parts ourselves. But if not, we'll probably be looking for a new bed frame for, um, it just sucks because that was the, her bed frame was the bottom bunk, um, for a bunk bed. It was, you know, it's a white, it's a white bunk bed. We just had the pieces for the top bunk shoved underneath her bed. Um, and we were planning on using that bunk bed for the babies when they got a little bit older. So that's going to stink if we can't find the parts to it. But that's why her bed's on the floor. Um, but she doesn't seem to mind. She thinks it's cool. So, you know, if she's happy, I'm happy, I guess. <laughs> And that is going to be it for today's video, y'all. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you got tons of motivation, inspiration, and encouragement to get done whatever you need to get done in your home. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and drop me a comment so we can talk. And I will see y'all in the next one. Have a blessed day. Like what's the deal? Cause I want you to show me what you feel. You're